Hey guys, my name is Ismas, and today we're going to be looking at how to create uh, buildings from 2D textures. Uh, so a good resource or a good website to get your textures from is textures.com. Uh, it's a paid website, but you can also get free credits every day. Uh, so you can download a few images uh, using the credits you, you get here. So we are going to create a building from an, from images. So you can go to the buildings uh, category and find uh, some building textures uh, to use. Uh, let's see. I think I can use this here and uh, blend it with uh, some shops on the bottom floor so we can blend a few of these images together to get something that looks interesting. So, so I'm just going to get, I think, this here. I'm going to give it a new texture, a new material, and use uh, the texture that I just added. So image. Yeah, then connect this to the base color. So this is what we have. I uh, can scale it down like that. Just drag this up and then start adding in those details uh, that you see there. So the first thing I want to do is uh, first extrude this out so that it extends like that. And then adding these glass details, all these are uh, aluminium. Select these faces here. Extrude them inside a bit. While they're still selected, I can see that uh, we want these areas to be quite reflective. So what I'm going to do is uh, switch to vertex paint and uh, use, uh, I think it's called shift K. Yeah, set vertex colors. Uh, make sure you have this selected here. Uh, this face mode selected. And if we go to viewport shading, we can set vertex colors. I just give this a dark color and then go to paint, set vertex colors so that we have a mask of the windows like that. Now we can go back to object mode and texture. Now we can use that vertex color, that vertex color mask. So if you go under input, vertex color preview this you can see what we have we can use that as a reflection uh, of a, as, a ref, uh, as a roughness mask you can see we have some nice reflections but uh, we also want to control the amount of reflection the amount of reflection in this so what we can do is uh, just let's see add a color mix RGB And uh, now we can control how reflective every surface is. So we can just make this more reflective. Like so. Again, start with the same process. Add a plane, new material, texture, image texture. But then bring in our brick texture. extrude them out like that and now you see that uh, this area here these faces are half straight stretched uh, textures so i'm just going to select those what i can do i don't need uh, these top faces i'm just going to delete them like that you can go into this uh into the right right view select all the faces here now you can see the kind of selection I've made here. Now we can use projection from view. And now just move uh, this texture, uh, this, this face and, uh, into a different area of the building or a different area of the surface uh, so that we have, uh, so that the textures there don't I also want to align this uh, with this, so I'm just going to drag that like that.
need to make it metallic i can just leave it at that make it and now all we have to do is just duplicate this around added detail we can throw in a roughness a roughness map or a grudge map let's use this here and uh, then we can throw this into our color one and so that is added to the roughness like that so to break up all the reflections and make them a bit dirty like you see there So it's the same technique I used to create this scene. You can see it didn't add a lot of detail here, but uh, I think we can borrow these uh, roads and just use it here for the street. Yeah, so you can see with just one, two images, you can see and uh, about 27 minutes how you can do something oh, that looks amazing without doing a lot of work that's it thank you for watching